Hey everybody, Ricky Edom handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Breeders' Cup Saturday, November the 5th. And this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A first. Eight races on the card today, including race 6, 3.44 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Red Smith Handicap. 11 furlong route test on the turf. Grade 2, 3 year olds and up race for $150,000. Contenders number 7, Grassy. Number 6, Boisterous. Number two, Exclusive Strike, and number one, Bold Hawk. If you folks who enjoy a little thoroughbred racing history, accompany your handicapping efforts today. This race was originally run as the Edgemere Handicap until 1981. It was renamed the next year to honor the, the late Walter Red Smith, the Pulitzer Prize winner in 1976 and a sports columnist for over 45 years. Red Smith was one of the nation's most honored and respected writers. Here in the 52nd renewal of this graded stakes test, number 7, Grassy, takes a 7-level class drop as the overall speed and pace profile leader in this field has hit the board in four of his last five starts with three of those efforts, including a win in his second race back, also qualifying his power runs. Number 6, Boisterous, the morning line favorite, has won half of his 10 career starts to date, racing at or about today's distance of 11 furlongs on the turf, including a trio of circle trips in his last five starts. Race 6 summary, number 7, Grassy, tops the contenders list, which also includes number 6, Boisterous, number 2, Exclusive Strike, and number 1, Bold Hawk, 7621, and the 6 from Aqueduct, the $150,000 Grade 2 Red Smith Handicap. Now to Churchill Downs. Let's take a look at race 10 now, this afternoon, folks. Actually, it's this evening. The Breeders' Cup Classic, by the way, will be under the lights. 6.07 p.m. Eastern Post Time for the Breeders' Cup Mile. A mile test, obviously, on the turf. Grade 1, 3 year olds and up race for $2 million. <coughs> Contenders, number 1, Gold Dacoba. Number 8, Byward. Number 5, Gio Ponte. And number 13, Tura Lur. Well, folks, number one, Gold Akova has probably lost a step in this racing season, but it's still gunning for a fourth straight mile title on the grass. This Irish bred entry has won an impressive 14 of 19 starts racing at today's distance on the turf. Takes a class drop as both the overall speed and pace profile leader in this field. She's hit the board in power run fashion in five straight, winning twice. Jockey Oliver Pressler had been in at Ryers on three previous occasions, winning them all en route to a positive 150% return on investment. In the process, is back today for his fourth ride gunning for a Grand Slam win. Number eight, Byword, a British bred entry and a 12 to 1 bomb, comes off back to back power run wins in his last two starts. Race 10 summary. Number one, Gold Dakova tops the contenders list, which also includes number eight, Byword, number five, Gio Ponte, and number 13, Tura Lur, 18513 in the 10th from Churchill Downs, the $2 million grade one Breeders' Cup mile. Bonus long shots. Let's go to New Mexico, Zia Park. Race 8, number 5, driving Miss Dom, 5 to 1 on the morning line. The speed leader in this field has hit the board in power run fashion in three of her last five, including a power run win in her fifth race back. Parks Racing, I still call it Philadelphia Park. Race 2, number 4, Fabulosity, 6 to 1 on the morning line, drops in class by 11 units. The overall speed leader in this maiden field sprinting at her about today's distance of five furlongs on the dirt. So handicapping from both Aqueduct and Churchill Downs on Breeders' Cup Saturday, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.